All right, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, we have our jobs view, our index view, um, with some static content. So we're just going to swap that out. So if we go to um, jobs index view, you can see that this is the format of uh, the dynamic content. This actually grabs the title. So I'm just going to um, basically we want the for each to go. I'm just going to copy this or cut it, and then we want the for each to go um, after the ul tag because we're going to repeat the list items, and we want the end for each to go um, under this list item, and then we can get rid of these ones. Okay, so let me just fix this indentation a little bit. Um, this title, let me cut that. Get rid of those. And then the title is going to go here. So we have our title. Um, what else? We want the city and state. So right here, we'll put the city, job, city, state. And where this is coming from is the jobs controller. So if I go back and go to controller, jobs, you can see in our index, we're getting um, the jobs from the database using this find method. Okay, uh, the description. Goes to about here. Okay, that looks good. Now for the read more link, I want to um, use the, what is it? It's the HTML helper. So let me just actually get rid of all this and paste this in. All right, so this is the format. We're going to echo this HTML link. And this is gonna take a few parameters. The first will be the text that we want, which is gonna be read more. The next is going to be the controller, so that's going to be jobs, and the action is going to be view, and then we want to throw in the ID, okay? So we want to go to um, jobs slash view slash, and then whatever the ID is of the job. All right, so let's see what we have with this. Okay, so it's doing everything correctly. Um, we just need to truncate this this text. We don't want this much. We don't want our entire description to show on this page. All right, and we can fix that really easily. We can use the um, text helper to do that. So basically, we want to. We're going to say echo this text truncate and we'll wrap this description oh. all right so um, we're gonna wrap that and that'll be the first parameter is the text that you wanna that you want to send out um, let's see truncate job description all right and the next parameter will be the number of uh, words that you want. Hey guys, in this video we're, we're going to make this uh, 250. And then the last one, the last parameter is an options array. So I'm going to paste this in. And one of the options is the ellipsis. So basically what you want to show where your text ends. In this case we're just going to use um, three dots. And then exact we're going to have set to false because 
if it's exact, it'll cut it'll cut it even if it's the middle of a word. And we don't want that. So we just want it to finish the word and then cut off with the ellipsis. Um, one other thing I wanted to do is, is have the date, which doesn't look like we have yet. So um, under the heading, we're just going to paste this in. Now, it's just a span. And we're going to use the time helper. All right. Um, the time helper, the format function, which takes the first parameter is the format of the date you want to use, and then the actual date, which is coming from our job table in the database. All right. So let's check that out. All right. So that looks good. Let's see where the link brings us job find slash job slash view slash two. So that's perfect. Uh, we just haven't created that method yet. Oh, actually, one thing we forgot very important is this um, the job type, which we just have a static full time text. Um, what we want to do is grab it from the database but we want to get the name. I mean, if we just go to the jobs database, let's check it out. If we just go to the jobs database and we look at type ID, um, it's just a number, all right? And of course we could just use what we've been doing and get it from just that table and say um, type ID like this. And if we reload, we just have a number, which is obviously unacceptable. Uh, we need to get the name from the type table, okay? Which is, let's see, types. Okay, so we want to get the name. We also want to get the color so that it can, um, so the different types can have different colors. All right. So what we need to do is go back to the view. And we should be able to say, all right, so we want it from the from the types table. So we should be able to say type and then the name, which I think is called name. Yep, name. Whoop. So we want to be able to say this. OK, so we're, we're in the job controller. We're using that object, but we want the type table and we want the name um, column. But if we save it and we go and refresh, we're getting an error here. Basically, it's saying undefined index. And the reason is because we haven't created any kind of association with jobs and types. And with Cake, it's extremely easy to do. All we have to do is go to the model. OK, so we want to go to model. And um, we actually haven't even created it yet. So we want to create a new file. And it's going to be the singular version of the object. So job.php. And let's see, PHP. Um, we're going to say class job extends app model. And just like the controller, we're going to define a name. So public name is going to be job. Now we need to just create an association to the types table. All right. So basically, um, I'm going to say public belongs to, and that's going to be equal to an array, and then. Um, type. So basically, a job has a type. So a job belongs to a type. All right. This is just one type of association, um, and this should have a dollar sign. All right. And we also have has has many things like that, which we might get into later. But this is just going to create an association for us. So if we save this. Now you can see that it's getting the text um, from the types table. And we also want to get the color. 
All right, because uh, if we switch one one of these to a part time, let's do that. So part time has the ID of two. So if we go back to jobs and wait a minute, why aren't these showing? I, I, I thought we had more jobs than two. Let me just check the controller and okay, so we just we have the limit set to two. That's why it's doing this. Um, I'm going to set this to 10. At least we know that's working. All right, there we go. Now you can see how the part time is still green. We don't want that. We want that to be um, a dynamic color coming from the database. So what I'm going to do is go back to the view, which is index, and this says span, span class equals green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the class and turn this into a style so we can put CSS right in this file style and it's going to have a background um, yeah a background and then we're going to echo out job type Color. All right, so if we save that, and now you can see the part time is blue. All right, so uh, I want to move along here, and I want to create the browse function or method. All right, so if we click on click on job slash browse, the home page is going to list a set amount of jobs, um, but we want for instance when we search for a job or we want to see a certain from a certain category we want it to go to the browse function okay so let's go back to jobs controller and we want to create the browse function or method whatever you want to call it so this will be browse method you should probably comment things better than I have been um, I just want to kind of you know I need to cram a certain amount of content into these videos so browse and this is going to take a parameter called category but I'm going to set it to null by default because we want to be able to um, we want to say job slash browse slash three and that'll go to the category with the ID of three so it'll only show posts from that category uh, but we don't we also want to have the option to just go to browse so that's why I'm making this null by default and we're gonna do a lot of the same things as the index um, we're gonna use the find all again just like this so I'm gonna just copy that And we're also going to um, set the view. We're going to use the index view. Okay, there's no sense in creating a, a, a special view just for browse because it's the same exact format. All right, so if we do have a category in the URL, if it, if it is slash whatever, we need to check for that. All right, so I'm going to paste some stuff in here. All right, so we're saying if the category is not null, so if there is a number uh, for the category, then we're going to add this conditions array. All right, and we're going to add the condition that the category ID is like whatever we pass in, which is this, which is going to go here. All right, so it's just adding that condition to the query. And then here we're creating an options array, just like we did up here. We had the order and the limit, and here we're going to have the order and limit as well as the conditions. All right, and I actually need to set the conditions array up here um, just to nothing. So init conditions array. Jesus, I can't spell today conditions equals uh, array 
Okay, so we're setting it to just an empty array right here. And then down here, if there is a category, then we're just going to add this condition to the category. I'm sorry, to the query. Right, so I just want to see where we're at with this now. Um, I'm going to save this, click on Browse Jobs and Missing View. Um, actually, you know what? We are going to use a Browse View because I also want to have um, the categories as a list like we did in the HTML template. So I apologize for saying that earlier that we weren't going to do that. Uh, we actually need to. So I'm going to go to View, Jobs, and create a new file called browse.php. And as a starting point, I'm just going to copy the index because it's going to be very similar. All right, and this should actually work now. Missing view. Oh, I named it PHP. It needs to be CTP. Uh, rename CTP. All right, so here's our browse page. And uh, I just want to add in a condition here to check for jobs to make sure we have any. And if not, we want just a message or just a static paragraph. Uh, so I'm going to say PHP if jobs. And then down here, whoop. else and if and you'll just say sorry no jobs available all right and I also want a block of categories under um, under our search element which right now is being included inside of the view, I believe, um, inside the layout. Uh, so I'm going to paste this content in here. Uh, it's going to be a category block. It's going to go through the categories and then just display a link using the HTML helper uh, that's going to go to um, basically, it'll go to the browse slash and then whatever the category ID. Okay, so we need to create this categories variable in the controller. So I'm going to go back to jobs controller and inside of this um, browse method, I'm just going to paste this in. Uh, we're doing just a simple find all query just like we did with jobs except it's going to be categories. We're going to set some options so that we can set the order to the category name and this is going to say this job category find. Now we can use this syntax, this job category, because in the model we specified, um, actually we didn't, we need to add category to this. Okay, because a job belongs to a category just like it belongs to a type. All right, so very simple to associate different objects. And then we're just simply setting the variable categories, which we were going to use, which we did just use right here. All right, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so now we have our categories. And it looks like it's working. If we go to click on accounting and banking, that, that has the ID of one. Fashion and style, three. Uh, technology, we should get some results. Okay, so there's all of our jobs in technology. Um, what else did we have? Construction. All right, so this is working really nicely. All right, so in the next video, we're going to implement this search bar. Okay, so our search or filters, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we will do that next.